Okay, in this session we're going to get into one of the built-in um, file editors that's included with Complete PBX. Uh, this one is called VI, uh, or actually you'll hear it referred to as VI, but it's actually VI Improved, which is Vim. So I'm just going to type in Vim without specifying a file, and it's going to bring me to the uh, menu page of uh, VI Improved. So in here we can actually now type in a colon and the help as you see down there below uh, and hit enter and this actually brings me into the help text file for this program. Um, while I'm in here I can page up, page down, uh, scroll around. Uh, I'm actually going to show you one of the other features in this help text which is that you can actually position your cursor on a tag and then hit the control right bracket to jump to that subject and then to ju simply jump back you type control T so we're going to try that here by scrolling down I'm going to get into one of these tags and we'll use the one that's actually called tutor to uh, jump to so I'm going to actually hit control and right square bracket and now I just jump to the tutor or vim tutor subject all right and what this basically says is that you can actually exit out of vim and run the command vim tutor instead and you can actually uh, use a, a nice tutorial um, and go through several exercises of how to edit files um, I recommend this since we're not going to cover um, vim as extensively as that tutorial would so I'm just going to hit control T to get back uh, I'm still in the help text file, so I'm going to hit colon. You see down at the bottom, the colon appeared. And I'm going to hit Q to quit out of the help. Uh, anytime you're stuck in Vim, if you type control, or excuse me, colon and Q, it will back you out of the program. If it doesn't let you out of the program because of maybe some changes you made, it will typically give you a, a how-to exit without saving your changes and that's um, the colon Q and what's referred to as the bang uh, most of you know it as the exclamation mark so if you type in colon Q bang you will get out of the program without making any changes okay so I'm actually going to open up a program here for you and I'm going to hit the up arrow uh, on the cursor keys to actually scroll back to one of the commands I did previously I'm going to open this uh, main.cf file so you can take a look at a file that uh, that Vim opens and how it does it. Um, you'll see here that actually a lot of the blue text is actually what's considered commented out. So if I were to, for example, scroll up here and I wanted to turn on the soft bounce equals no option, I have to hit I in order to actually edit in Vim you'll see that the line down at the bottom changed to insert which means I'm in insert mode this was because I just hit the I key so now I can actually edit this file because I'm in insert mode I'm gonna hit the delete key to delete that uh, pound symbol and now you see that the actual the color of the line changed because now it's no longer commented out it's actual it will actually be a line that will be read in this configuration file um, lines that are commented out are unread so that's something that you'll want you'll need to know um, because Linux files do do a lot of commenting and uncommenting so when people say you need to uncomment a line that usually means remove the pound symbol from in front of it uh, this is for Linux for asterisk they actually use the semicolon as the uh, comment the the uncommenter if you will <laughs> so all right um, so I'm going to actually recomment this line, but now because I made changes to it, when I hit escape to get out of insert mode, uh, I don't want to actually save those changes. And, and let me just page down a little bit here so you can see actually what some of the other uncommented lines look like. Uh, makes it real easy to read a file when you're only looking for lines that actually matter. Um, as you can see here, because I typed in earlier slash uh, etc in Vim, it actually went and it highlighted every 
instance of ETC it finds in the program as well. This is also pretty useful. In fact, I can change the word that I want to search simply by hitting colon and I'll type in slash and I'll just use uh, IP. How's that? So now it will find every instance of IP as you see it did right here. So those are uh, pretty helpful tips. Um, that's how you edit in Vim. Uh, please watch the Vim Tutor uh, or, or go, go through the Vim Tutor so that you actually have a uh, better understanding. And then I will just quit out of here. And that's all we have for this session. Hold on. See, that's what, exactly what I said. I, I hit colon Q, but now it's saying I need to hit a uh, exclamation mark or bang as it's referred to in Linux to actually exit the program because I don't want to save my changes and there we are thanks for watching